Peter here from the church. I hope you're all keeping safe and being happy as well. It's so good to be able to be back with you and doing this assembly. Um, I wonder, if you were going to go on a really important journey, how would you want to get there? Imagine you could choose anything you wanted. What would you choose? Maybe you'll choose a super fast car that could go faster than any other. Or a motorbike that looks super cool. Perhaps you want a top of the range BMX so you can cycle there on your own. Maybe you'd like your own private jet. They could fly you anywhere in the world you needed to go. Or perhaps you just want to walk but you want the best equipment, new shoes, new coat, new bag. Or maybe you're not so worried about going super fast but you like how things used to be done. So maybe you want to go on a steam train to hear that noise and to smell that smell that you just don't get from electric trains, do you? I wonder how you would want to get to your important place. Well, this Sunday, Christians will be celebrating what's called Palm Sunday. It's the day that we remember Jesus travelling on a really important journey. He had been travelling for quite a long time um, around the outer areas of Israel. And today he was going to head into Jerusalem, the capital city. And in fact, Jerusalem means city of peace. So how would Jesus get to Jerusalem? How would Jesus go on his special journey? Did he get new sandals? No, no new sandals. Did Jesus get a super fast, cool car? First one ever. No, no cars, not for a very long time in history. I know. Jesus must have got a really wonderful big horse a thoroughbred the best sorts and fastest and strongest horses that's the sort jesus would have ridden right that's what generals rode in the armies that's what kings rode that's what jesus would have got right no he didn't instead jesus sent his disciples to go and get him a young donkey they went to the neighbouring village and they borrowed the donkey from somebody. It was so young, no one had ever ridden it before. And so they put cloaks on the back of the donkey and Jesus sat in it and rode into the city. Not a big war horse. Not something that shows how, how important he is, but a donkey. That showed how humble he was. And how peaceful he was. And so as Jesus rode into the city on his donkey. It must have taken quite a long time. Not very fast donkeys. People started gathering. They knew Jesus. They'd heard his stories before. Just like you've heard the stories of Jesus. And they were so excited to have Jesus coming to see them. And so they started pulling branches off of the trees and waving them. Jesus, over here, welcome Jesus. And they took off their coat and threw them on the floor so that the donkey could walk over the top of the cloaks. Now that sounds very strange to us today, doesn't it? But it was the same as if you're watching the Grammys or something like that. And you have really important people coming and they'd roll out a red carpet, wouldn't they? To say, the people that walk on this red carpet are super special. Well, this is what they used to do back in the day for really important people. They'd do it for kings and for generals. And people did it for Jesus. They were so pleased that he was coming. And they shouted out special words. They said, Hosanna! It meant, save us. It was a way of praising Jesus, how wonderful he was. And they said... Happy is the person who comes in God's name. The person that comes and does what God wants. Jesus was going to do what God wanted. And then they shouted, Happy is the King of Israel. Oh, that would have got them in a bit of trouble, you know. 
because there was a king in Israel, an earthly king, who wasn't very good at being king. He was mean and selfish and used to use violence and hurt people if he didn't get away he wanted. And yet here was Jesus, not an ordinary king, but God's king, who had come to bring peace and love. They knew Jesus was a king, but not an ordinary king, not like the kings they knew before. Jesus was going to have a crown, but not the sort of crown a king would want. Not normally. And Jesus was going to wear special kingly robes, but not the sort a king would normally wear. And Jesus was going to have a throne, but not the sort of throne that most people kings would have wanted or any king to be honest apart from Jesus and Jesus was going to have a kingdom but it wasn't going to be like the kingdoms of this world with with uh, riches and walls it was going to be something different I'm going to tell you more about that next week when we look at the Easter story but this week This is what Christians are celebrating on this Palm Sunday. And it's called Palm Sunday because of those branches, those palm branches, they they, uh, waved in the air because Jesus was there. Christians are excited because it's a reminder of what Jesus was going to do, to be our king, but not an ordinary king, a king of peace and a king of love. What an amazing king Jesus is. So boys and girls, I'm going to say a prayer for us now and as per normal if you want to join in we can do our big amen at the end but let's all just sit nice and quietly just for a moment dear god thank you that jesus is a king who loves peace and who loves us amen like i say boys and girls i'll hopefully see you next week probably on video still but until then remember God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye.